Capricorn, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Pentacles. So I'm basically be dealing with a Taurus. You also have Sagittarius and Scorpio here. It is a general reading, so I wouldn't get too hung up on the signs, but that's the ones that are sticking out to me at this moment. You also have Capricorn energy here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Capricorn, I do feel like this is a past person that's moving back towards you here. If somebody's been missing you, okay? They have. They've been missing you. You have this Queen of Cups energy. And the Six of Cups energy. To me, that feels like somebody's just been thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past. It's just causing them to miss you. There could be certain things that are kind of triggering them, certain songs that are coming up, certain times of the year. There's just something here that's, it's got them thinking about you uh, a, a lot more than normal lately. It's, it's got them missing you here. We have this page of cups. To me, that can the pages can definitely be messengers. It could be them wanting to reach out to you. It can be an, uh, an apology as well. We have this two of pentacles here with this page of cups. To me, that would indicate somebody who's kind of going back and forth trying to decide, you know, should I reach out? Should I say something to Capricorn or not? You know, do you think they're going to want to hear from me? It's just kind of going back and forth, but they're missing you. They want to talk to you. We have this king of pentacles here. You know, I feel like somebody's realizing what's really important. And especially with this King of Pentacles, on this deck it says true success isn't about money. It's about happiness too. I feel like somebody's like really realizing what's important. You know, maybe at one time what they thought they really wanted or what they thought was important, they're realizing it, you know, isn't as important as I thought that it was. And this King of Pentacles energy, the King of Pentacles can be somebody who's like ready to take something very seriously, you know, wanting that, missing that stability, missing that connection. So we do have the Knight of Wands. Somebody could have been a very inconsistent in the past. Somebody been very hot and cold or had player-like tendencies for some of you guys. For others of you, the Knight of Wands is just a card of desires, and it could be them wanting to move towards you very quickly here. You know, they still feel a very strong attraction and chemistry with you. Even if you guys are apart, even if you're not communicating, they still really feel this connection with you very strongly. Okay, energetically, they're always feeling your presence here. So we have this Six of Cups. Like I said, somebody's really thinking about you a lot lately. Okay, they're missing you here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles can be a car really card of analyzing something, trying to decide, you know, should I invest my time into this, my energy into this or not? Um, you know, looking back at the past, kind of re-going over everything. I also feel like some of them could have been waiting, maybe hoping to hear from you. We're going to get a little bit more about this. Tell me about this. Tell me about the Six of Cups energy. Why is the Six of Cups energy here? I got the Three of Swords. So somebody knows that they hurt you and they're hurting without you here. And I almost feel like they can't keep it in anymore. Like I feel like somebody has been trying to either distract themselves or just kind of bury it. Um, but I don't feel like they're able to anymore. You know, she's in a public place. She's got tears streaming down her face. You know, to me, it just feels like, you know, I feel like they've been trying to mask it or like keep themselves distracted with other things, keep themselves busy, just push it down. But it's getting harder and harder to do that. Tell me 
me about this Knight of Wands. Why is that here? We have this Knight of Swords. So, yeah, I would definitely expect somebody to be moving towards you very quickly here. Okay? Absolutely. It may feel kind of unexpected, but I do feel like somebody's been thinking about this for a while. So, even though it feels very out of nowhere and unexpected, I don't think it is. I feel like they've been contemplating this going back and forth for a while now. Yeah, we have this Hangman. So, the Hangman can talk, you know... He hangs himself here on purpose to gain clarity and enlightenment. You know, I feel like during this separation somebody has, they're starting to see things in a new way. You know, they have learned some things. They have gotten some clarity. The Seven of Pentacles, they've really been thinking things over. So even though this kind of feels like it's coming out of nowhere, it's really not. This person's been thinking about this for a while. But that is what I have for you. I hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.